every time you shit, I think it's gonna <laughs> Yes, yeah, you like that? You like that? Don't ever <laughs> crack my league play. <laughs> hey, you about eighty carry? I saw the video of the shooting and it looked really bad. Like, I think some people were trying to say, oh, he pepper sprayed him earlier. But the video that I saw was literally just a guy ran across the street and then just like point blank executed this guy. And um, yeah, but, but I could be wrong. I like I said, breaking news. Um, Multnomah County Circuit Judge State ordered a key document to unseal the fatal shooting. On the BLM disappears that Danielson was shot by Michael Renault, 48, who himself was fatally shot by police. They attempted to arrest him near Lacey. What? Oh, people are saying the cops shot him because he was like a CIA plant. Jesus Christ. Here are the three pieces of information in the arrest warrant. Nearly shot shortly before police killed him. Renee told Vice News that he shot in self-defense after a man threatened him and another person with a knife. Had I stepped forward, he would have been... Had I stepped forward, he would have maced or stabbed me. But the 19-page affidavit, there's no mention of a knife found on or near Danis. Okay. 19-page affidavit, Warren says there is, uh, when a medic provided medical treatment to Danielson, there was an expendable metal baton found near him, along with a can of bear attack deterrent. It appeared to have been hit by a bullet. The medic, oh, I saw this in the video, but I couldn't tell. Some people were saying he sprayed mace at the guy, and that's why he shot, but apparently the can was struck by the bullet, because that looked like it could have been possible as well. The medic also discovered a loaded Glock 17 pistol still hosted and not fired at Danielson's waist, along with three extra magazines in the pockets of his cargo shorts. After the fatal shooting, a Clackamas County Sheriff's deputy told a Portland detective that during a criminal investigation around the sun early in August, she'd asked to look through the younger man's phone. He complied on August 17th. I don't understand it. Sell me the gun. A quarter pound of weed and $100. I was going to tie this shit. I need a piece now. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know how you ever say this was a self-defense shooting, but maybe everybody will ignore this one. I don't know. This seems to be a lot more clear cut too. Right sympathizers are so quick to condemn Kyle, but then claim self-defense for this bullshit. I don't think anybody's claimed self-defense for it. I think there's been two responses to this shooting. One is to either ignore it completely, which is probably what most people are doing. And two is to say that the crazier people are saying that it was like a false flag from the NSA of people that like, um, that like they, I, I don't even, I don't even know what the, I'm not even sure what the, the running story is. If the CIA got this guy a tattoo a year ago, had him come in, do a shooting, and then executed him after, to uh, that, I, who is saying that? I've seen it a lot on Twitter. I see a lot on Twitter, but it's like random nobodies. I don't think any big person is running with this. Hopefully, people, are, but I've seen like people tweeting around that it's like a false flag. But I don't think it's any like, I don't think anybody relevant. So on August 29th, there was this pro-Trump caravan that started in a town about 10 miles southeast of Portland. Portland police knew about the caravan and had, had apparently been tasked with making sure that it stayed out of downtown Portland to avoid escalating tensions, which there have been running pretty high. It was a free for all and the police were letting it happen. Had I not acted, I am confident that my friend and I'm sure I would have been killed because I wasn't gonna stand there and let something happen. I can't believe they actually played the, the vice. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a tad bit yikes for me, fam. Famalam, gonna be a gonna be a tad yikes for me. I mean, it's Vice. What do you expect, Lameo? Some of Vice's shit is unreal. Are you serious? Vice didn't wasn't Vice the outlet that had the journalist that went to fucking? <laughs> I almost said went to fucking Wu Tang China. Um, but they didn't even go to Wuhan. It was the other place where the Uyghurs are being captured. Um, didn't, didn't Vice literally send journalists like undercover? That shit was crazy. Okay, listen, Vice does some crazy shit. Okay. Xinjiang? Maybe that was it. It has more bad than good, bro. Is that true? <laughs> wow, I feel like a fucking tourist. You do? Yeah. Why? It's cool art, okay? There you go. Now you get some pictures of yourself. Wow. Cool. That's wow, cool. We're at desk and we're gonna have one on our... Oh. Like a little desk? N uh, oh, no. no. Svenska. American. Oh, oh. English. Is your name... Destiny? No, I think it's supposed Steven? to be a woman. Ah, uh, good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Do you want to be a stream? Sure, why not? Hello. Hi. Hi, Destiny. How's it going? Uh, not bad. Not bad. I just wanted to tell you how deep dark secret. Okay, what's your deep dark secret? Um, you'll we'll be surprised. I'm actually the one who made the... How long has it been since you last shot? I don't know. At this point, probably over a year. I don't think I've been shooting since I've been in California. 
I don't even know how to work a gun anymore. I don't even know what a gun is, true. Okay, I have, wait, okay, here's a couple of weird gun questions. Why is it that when a good guy takes a gun away from a bad guy, I noticed that this happens in Matt Damon movies. It happened in a Bourne movie, at least one. And it happened in The Dark Knight as well. I like how, by the way, I like how the Joker was just left here. It's the scene right before this, but basically, Bruce Wayne beats up a guy in a hallway, and then and then good guys, good guys do this thing where they take apart the gun. And um, I think you'd call this a field strip, where basically what you do is you disassemble the gun in a very simple way, and then you throw it away. But like, um, what's the point of that? Because like, it's pretty easy to put it back together like in like two seconds. Like, I don't understand why, I, I, I don't understand why they do this. I know exactly what you're talking about. Hold on. Oh, holy shit, you got exactly the seven second thing. It's this right here. I'm not really familiar with shotguns, but this looks like a normal field strip, right? He, he disassembles. But like these types of things, so you might do this to, um, I'm totally guessing because I'm just not familiar with the actions and everything on shotguns. Um, <clears throat> but you might do this to like clean a gun. But like he just sets it right down afterwards. Why? Um, there's also, I think he does it. Fuck, I think he does it in this, but I'm not going to be able to, I don't remember it where. Wait. I don't remember if he does it with this gun after. Fuck, no, he doesn't. But I, I think they do it. I think they do it here. Where basically they like, they, they, they'll take the, um, what do you call it? You take the barrel out, the spring would probably come off. You'd have like the, the handle and then like the slide. And then they just like, and then they put it on the ground. They just drop it. Like, wh what's the point of that? Like when the bad guy gets up, because like I think to like a normal viewer, maybe when you see it, you're thinking like, oh wow, he destroyed that gun. But no, there's just like a, it's just a field strip. Like they can just pick it up and put it back together in two seconds. I, it's just weird. I don't know. Um, I, 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 I remember that it happened in the bad movie. Then I remember it happened in the board movie. It's like, why do people do this? I guess because it looks cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can you tell us how long it actually takes instead of two seconds to f to field strip a gun? Um. To field strip Stop a gun. Your fat fucking mouth. Hi, Kenny. To field strip a gun, okay? This is what you would do. Assuming it's empty, you rack the slide, on a Glock at least, you rack the slide, you push a button, you bring it forward, and it all comes out. Like, you, the, the slide would come off, the barrel and the little spring would come out, and it'd be in pieces. Like, I don't want to say two seconds, but I'm guessing like five seconds or less? Like, it's, like it's very, very, very quick. Um... Or I guess we can just look at a video for it. So step number one, hide the out, put that off to the side. Your next step, you want to take your slide and lock it to the rear. You do this for two reasons. Number one, watch your hammer for the next step. And number two, it gives you an opportunity to use a device similar to this, which I got on Amazon. Holy shit. It allows you to take it and turn it into the 40. And then if you close it up, you can see through it. But you know that there's no permission there. You want to take your slide and lock it to the rear. You do this for two reasons. Number one, you caught your hammer for the next step. And number two, it gives you an opportunity to use a device similar to this, which I got on Amazon for, I think, $6. And it allows you to safely insert it into the end of the 40. And then if you tilt it up, you can see through it, which lets you know that there's no ammunition left in the... Okay, wait, hold on, wait. I don't know what this is, but you you never... The, you, I don't know what we're watching. Never mind, okay, we're leaving this. You never, you never need to check to see if you have a bullet in the gun by sticking a fucking flashlight in the fucking barrel. What, you open the action, you check the action. Assuming the action is empty and the magazine is out of the gun, I don't even know if it's possible for a bullet to be hiding in here. I've never in my life heard, well, now you can stick a flashlight into the end of the gun and then turn it on to see if there's a bullet. Uh, in the firearm? Can never be too careful. This isn't a matter of being careful. It's just, this is just not any, no one would ever recommend this ever in your entire life. This is, it's so you don't look right into it. You don't look into it. You just open the action. If there's no magazine in and the action is empty, there can't, there just can't. I. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> what? No, you can't. It's not. No. How? There, unless the bullet slides in, anti. Unless it's a tenant bullet. Spoiler alert. And it gets like stuck somehow, and then it like. 
Your next step, you can drop the slide. You want to point it into a safe direction and pull your trigger. After you pulled your trigger, I like to stick my hand into this crook here, just like you would fire it. I reach around, and I grab a hold of the slide, and I pull it back just far enough to where it breaks. It gives way. You'll feel it. Then right here, you have this little lever. It's on both sides. You pinch it on both sides and pull it down. You let go of your slide, and your slide will slide right off. This is the this is the field strip that they do in the movies, and then they like they'll throw the parts away from each other. Like, oh yeah, like now I've totally destroyed the gun. Remove your barrel, and then your little spring comes out. Your barrel comes out, and you're ready to go. But like to put this back together, you'd literally just put the spring and the barrel in here. You'd put the slide on, and then you just rack it, and it's like your and your gun is reassembled. I'm this is like a really minor thing. I just don't know why people do it. Oh, he actually shows you. Sorry. Now reassembly is exactly the same way. But I'll do it with you. Take your slide, reinsert your barrel, put your spring on top of the barrel. Maybe. Okay. Then you want to find the grooves. You can see this is pretty good. Find the grooves. Pull it all the way back. Like you're talking it. You're good to go. There's literally no point in doing this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, why do you own a Glock as opposed to any other pistol? Glocks are cool for two reasons. Um, one is because they're cheap as fuck, which is awesome. And two is that um, they're incredibly, notoriously reliable. Um, I think those are the two reasons why I think law enforcement uses Glocks and why people generally, um, it's one reason why people jerk Glocks off, but it's also a reason why people shit on Glocks. Um, they look pretty cheap. This like plastic polymer, the black steel, people are like, oh, it looks cheap as fuck. You don't have a cool, like a $1,200 nine millimeter, like HK or whatever the fuck, um, or whatever the more sexy pistols people buy. But Glocks are super reliable. When you drop them, they don't fire when they hit the ground. Um, no dumbass safety bullshit. Um, they're just they're just very 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 reliable firearms, and you can put like dirty ammo in them. You can fire them infinitely without ever cleaning them. They'll probably be okay. Like they're just like super. How much do they cost? I don't remember. I think a Gen Four Glock Seventeen is like maybe five or six hundred bucks. They hold seventeen rounds. Damn. Oh yeah, shit caliber, shut the fuck, nine millimeter is a perfectly lethal, beautiful caliber, okay? Anybody that says nine millimeter is a shit caliber has a small dick, and they feel, and the only way they compensate is with their shit ass 1911s and their massive 45s, okay? Miss, miss me with that shit, fam, which you probably will be missing anyway because nobody practices, no, no, never mind. 45 is a shit caliber. It's, why would you use 45 when you can have nine millimeter, okay? The ammo's cheaper, it's just as lethal, you can hold more rounds per magazine, okay? There's no fucking 17 round, okay, 45. This thing would be fucking massive, okay? Unless you're all fucking NBA players, all right? Ten millimeter purists fuming. I, I don't even know which what fires ten millimeter rounds. <laughs> Would you ever own a revolver? They seem cool, but nine millimeter won't do shit against armor. Who are, who are you that you're firing <laughs> into armor targets so often? Wait, what the fuck? Jesus. Well, f listen, dude. If your counter to something that I say is, well, I don't know about the penetration on that through Kevlar, you're, whatever you're doing with your firearms is way out of my league, okay? I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know who you're shooting at or who's trying to kill you, all right? You're way out of my... Okay, I don't know what... But at that point, I would be... I would be highly skeptical that 45 is gonna punch through armor either. Not to mention the fact that if you're carrying rounds for self-defense, that should probably be hollow point, not FMJ. In which case, you, I don't know if any hollow point round is gonna penetrate armor anyway. If you're looking to penetrate armor, get a fucking, just use a rifle. Get a fucking AR-15, baby. That platform is sick as fuck. Why do you want your bullets to be more lethal for self-defense? We're looping. We're looping. Um, the reason why you use hollow points for self-defense is for two reasons. One. More stopping power in a hollow point round. Two, less of a chance to over penetrate um, both the target and things in the background. And then three, I think less um, momentum on like ricochets. Typically, you don't want um, you you don't want to shoot through things, or you don't want to over penetrate the target and hit other people. But generally, hollow points are preferred for self defense rather than FMJ is a full metal jacket round which is a big old bullet that can bounce around or over penetrate, go through walls, kill people, bad things. 
Do you go out shooting or has it just been looking at it? Interesting thing to have fun with. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I used to go shooting more when I lived in Nebraska, but I haven't. I think I went out once in California, but the guns there are cucked. How can a gun be cucked? Um, all the rifles, the handles. Um, dude, I'm so bad at my naming of parts. Would you call it the receiver? Um, the, with, with the triggers and everything is just, I don't know how to describe it. So it's telling you that it's cucked. The way that the, way that the um, not, I don't think it's a stock. I think it's the receiver itself. You have to have like a pistol grip on your rifle and it's so shit. It feels so bad. Ugh. The light down the barrel thing is to prevent squib loads. Those things killed Bruce Lee since what in the fuck is a squib load? I'm so curious. Hold on. Squib load. Also known as a squib round, popping no kick, or just a squib is a firearm malfunction, which your fire projector does not have a force bound to exit the barrel unless it becomes stuck. You should be able, if you, if you, if you have a squib round, I'm not even sure how that happens, but we'll, we'll say that it could happen. It, there's two things. One, you should be able to do that. You should be able to see that when you rack the slide, right? Because you should, when you, if, if you have a, if the action is open on a pistol, you should see light coming through. But even if that wasn't true, even if that didn't happen, can a squib round reinsert itself so that it can be fired by pulling a trigger? Is that possible? Like if I had, if I held my Glock up and I put a, I dropped a bullet in from the top and then it was sitting at the bottom. You make me um, happy. I hope you live a long and beautiful life. Thank you. Can I, can I push the, can I aim the gun forward and pull the trigger and, and actually have the pin hit the primer and fire the round? I feel like that's not possible. I feel like in order for a bullet to be loaded, you have to rack the slide so that it comes up to the right spot so that the, the firing pin, it's like engaged. I don't know, there's gotta be a better word for it. I don't know what round. It's the next round that would make bad stuff happen. Oh, cause the next round could blow your gun up or some weird shit, huh? Ooh, that actually sounds really spooky. Wait, how can that, how can you even get a squib round? You must be using some, you must be using Uncle Joe's fucking reloaded ammo or some busted ass shit for that to happen, right? I don't think I've, people are saying cheap ammo, but I've never heard of that. I've never heard of cheap ammo where people worry about that. That's gotta be like some fucking like custom reloaded bullshit of, of some guy that's new to reloading and fucks her shit up. I, I don't know. How's the weather? Um, some people to save money on ammo will collect the casings and shit after people fire. And what you can do is you can actually pack your own powder into them and then buy bullets. Um, uh, oof, okay. When, when you fire, when, so w when you fire a bullet out of a gun, it's not the same thing as the whole thing that goes in. The whole thing that goes in is, is a cartridge, right? You have a nine millimeter cartridge. The cartridge has the bullet, which is the little thing at the end. And then you have what I believe is called a casing. And inside the casing goes gunpowder. Um, so that when the when you pull the trigger, basically a little hammer <laughs> strikes in the back, it hits something called a primer that sparks the gunpowder, which causes the casing and the bullet. The, the bullet explodes out, the casing is ejected to the gun, right? Some people will pick up casings from the floor and I think they just, they literally just take them from the floor, right? Don't they? Or do they buy their own, they buy their own casings. Um, and then they what they do is they pack their own gunpowder so that they can make their own, it's called reloading. Not like reloading a gun, but you reload the casing so that you can basically fire more ammo cheaper. That sounds like the only way you could ever get a squib round. I've never heard of even the cheapest, shittiest, dirtiest nine millimeter ammo. I've never heard somebody say like, oh yeah, sometimes these things won't make it out of your gun. That seems crazy. Not to say that's not possible. Don't take my word for it. I was, I've never heard that before. I know that there are some like, there are some brands of ammunition where people say like this ammo is dirty. <laughs> um, so like, unless, but you know, if you have a, but I also have a Shut Glock and I'm pretty me, sure Glocks will eat almost any fucking nine millimeter round you feed them. I say nine millimeter, there are not nine millimeter Glocks, but a Glock will fire almost anything. If it's, if it's a fucking bullet if, that is attached to anything, it'll fucking shoot. Um, but, but some pistols are more um, picky in terms of what kind of, um, in terms of like how clean the ammo has to be, I think. Yeah. Some shooting ranges sell super shit reloads from casings used by customers. Really? I thought ranges always wanted to upsell you out of their fucking bullshit ass, expensive ass fucking ammo. Don't um, don't ever buy, don't ever buy ammo at the range for the love of God. Okay. I don't know if you can still do it. I guess it's been a long time since I've ordered ammo online. But fucking get like a thousand rounds like online. That shit is so much fucking cheaper, dude. When you buy ammo at range at the range, you're getting fucked so hard. Also, bring a friend and have, well, never mind. I was gonna say bring a friend and have like multiple magazines because you don't wanna waste time at a range reloading. A range time is pretty fucking cheap, actually. Isn't it, right? I wanna say it's like $20 an hour at a range. It's pretty, well, at least like for pistol, like indoor ranges. 
Not knowing the difference between clean and dirty ammo make me concerned for your gun safety. Not knowing how to spell anything makes me wonder why you're even typing in my fucking chat. Dirty ammo is usually talking about Russian steel. Um, so there, it depends on what you're talking about. Th this is all like slang terminology that I've heard, so I don't know what's official or not. Um, for clean and dirty ammo, um, I've heard that there are certain pistol rounds where, like, I remember that I bought, fuck, what was so long ago? I bought, like, the bear ammo. It had, like, a fucking bear on the package. But there's some pistol ammo where some where people are just like, this ammo, like, you might, you get, like, might get, a, is it, like, misfires, or sometimes it's fucked, this ammo sucks, you have to clear a, a jam or whatever because the round doesn't go off. Some ammo is just shit, it's dirtier. Some pistols are a little bit more picky about what they take. Um, but now when it comes to rifles, or battle rifles, um, if you're talking about, um, like, your 762 by five four five two the rimfire rounds whatever the ones that fit into like like my mosin or whatever um for those rounds you can either get newer ammunition that's made um or you can get old dirty world war ii ammunition but that but that dirty ammunition when people call that ammunition dirty that doesn't mean it doesn't fire i think what they mean is that i think it's more corrosive Right, because it's got like lead or some shit in it. I think I, it's been a long time. Holy shit! But I think that like if you're if you're buying old World War II ammo, which is highly possible if you're buying like the seven six two by five four rounds, um, if you're buying that ammo and you fire it out of your gun, you have to clean your shit afterwards because it, there's like lead residue behind after you fire that, and it'll eat through your gun if you your barrel if you like leave it alone too much. Yeah, corrosive primers. I don't think newer. I don't know if it's actually called battle rifle ammo. I feel like I read that on a, in a magazine or something. But like, if, but I don't think newer ammunition like that. But, it's, but newer ammunition like that is way more expensive. Those cartridges are huge. Yeah, when I think when I hear battle rifle, I think of Halo. But I feel like people call that battle rifle ammo. But maybe not. I'm not sure. Buy another gun in the future. If we move to Miami, I really, really want to build an AR-15. I want to build a sick as fuck. I want to build a god tier fucking AR-15. I want to get a goddamn nasty ass fucking red dot sight on it. I wanna get some tactical fucking rails, okay? I'm gonna go to the goddamn range and I want them to call the fucking secret service when they see how fucking loaded out my AR-15 is, all right? I wanna be at the range, I wanna hit the fucking strobe lights with the 50,000 lumen flashes, okay? I want some badass fucking shit, okay? That's what I want. <laughs> I wanna get a goddamn skin on my gun. I want fucking solid snake on one end of the stock I don't want Cloud Stripe's fucking hair on the other. And if anybody makes fun of me for it, it'll be the last thing they ever make fun of in their goddamn life. Because I'm going to have a long conversation with them about how mean it is to be rude to other people about their hobbies so that they don't do it anymore. Those super decked out guns are cringe, I'm sorry. <laughs> the ultra tactical ones? Yeah, they are. But you know what? I want one. Fuck you. I want one with the like, tactical rail. I'm gonna have 37 up, different right? goddamn attachments on my mean. gun. Pepe wins. I'm gonna go to the range one time and come back with a fucking bicep that's twice as big from holding up the fucking barrel. Hell yeah. I want a goddamn radiator on it to discharge the heat from all the fucking rounds I'm putting through it. Nine flashlights, six consoles, seven different pointers, 14 scopes, 27,000 barrel round magazines. The one, oh, and then the one thing, I always jerk this off because I just think it's so fucking cool. The one thing I will always recommend if you ever have the chance, if you ever have the chance to do it, is to fire a, a rifle with, um, is to fire a rifle with a goddamn red dot, okay? Goddamn, those things are so goddamn fucking cool. I still can't get over how cool they are. It is literally, like, it is literally like being in a fucking video game. Yeah. Like, Dude, you just, you, you don't even have to, you don't have to know how to hold it. You can flare the fuck out of your elbow. You can hold the barrel in the wrong spot, but not too wrong. Don't blow your finger off or burn your hand. And you can just like look that and and you just, dude, fucking, you just ding the fuck out of targets. Unbelievable. They're so cool. Holy shit. Also, um, the, the, the 556, five, I don't know if I would say the 556 five, platform, Platforms that use 5.56 rounds, rifles, are unbelievably easy to fire. 
they are so easy to fire, it'll blow your mind. A, a nine millimeter pistol is infinitely more difficult to handle recoil on than like an AR-15, like a standard, unless you're using some weird short barrel rifle or some shit. Um, it will blow your mind, like it, it doesn't even feel like you're firing a real gun, it feel, it'll feel like a BB gun. You'd be, sh it's really funny, because I, I remember when I read that article about that guy that fired the AR-15 and it traumatized him or whatever, I feel like most people would have the opposite experience. If you hold an AR-15 and you shoot it, 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 the recoil is so unbelievably easy to handle, it's insane. It's unbelievable. Um, it fires so nice. Holy shit. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Is it because of the stock? No, it's just like, well, I mean, it's a combination of it being a longer rifle. Five, five, six rounds are like a good size round. Uh, like, yeah, it's just, it's a good, it's a nice platform. Feels good. Everything about it just feels really good. Um, my Mosin, on the other hand, <laughs> for, for at least for me, I'm a smaller dude. That shit fucks me up. God damn, Mosin is a, that's a big ass fucking big boy. When you shoot that thing, whew, you feel it. However, in my opinion, um, I think the um, bolt action rifles are kind of like manual transmissions and that they're worse than semi-autos in every way, size, shape, or form, but they're goddamn fun as fuck. Anytime you have the chance to to eject a goddamn cartridge, loaded another fucking shell. Man, does it feel fucking cool. You feel like the goddamn Terminator. Ugh. Okay. We've had our yearly gun conversation where I jerk off the same three things. If you had an intruder, would you get your Mosin or your Glock? Um, Your Glock, of course. How, Dude, the Mosin is huge. That thing is unwieldy as fuck. <laughs> However, the best home self-defense weapon, honest to God, Probably be an AR-15. I think pistols are overrated. I Well, a pistol is nice because you can hide it. You can carry it very easily. But in like, I'm pretty sure in almost every other setting, whether you're close quarters or not, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure a, a rifle is just better. I think, a, I honest to God, like I really, did, people who say shotgun, I don't know, dude. I think a rifle is just better. Um, like, if, if you really think about firing a pistol, right? Like, if you think about how far it has to be from your body to even effectively hold it, like the clearance on the end of the barrel of a pistol is going to be about the same as a rifle anyway. I doubt it's even going to be that much farther. And you have infinitely more control. You've got bigger magazines. You've got more lethal rounds. Like rifles are just better at every size, shape, or form. Fuck that. I don't know about shotguns, so I don't have any experience. With... Oh my god, is that lichen? Oh my god, is that tenant? Is it really hard to aim if you don't hold the pistol out so far from your face? It is incredibly difficult to aim. Pistols are so much harder to fire than anyone has any idea. If you spend, if you've never shot a pistol before and you go to a range and you hold one, you will actually be irritated at how, it looks like an easy weapon. Because in the movies, it's like boom, 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 boom. But when you actually go to the range, it's like, okay, holding the pistol. Okay, wait, hold on, okay. So it's gotta be up, down, no, wait, it can't be left. Okay, left, right is easy to line it. Okay, up or down, okay, okay. So I gotta do this. Okay, wait, I have, can't bring my head to it. I gotta bring it up to me. Like, it's it's so much harder to fire a pistol accurately. And then like getting the like the sights on the gun to line up and shoot, it's so much more infuriating to fire a pistol. And then when you look at TV shows and people like blind fire from their hip and they'll like ding targets, like no way, dude. You, unless you've been shooting for like 40 plus years, no fucking way does anybody just take a pistol out and like boom, boom, boom. Like, unbel like yeah. Ooh, the one, <clears throat> oof, we're on the Destiny rerun series. The best, one of the, one of the best scenes, I love this movie so much and I will always jerk it off. Who knows what's coming? Come on guys, this is a, we're doing a Destiny's greatest hits. We're looping through. What scene are we about to watch? Good job guys. A few, a few of the old fans are here. Um, it's very hard to pull a pistol and fire unless it's like directly in front of you. Um, there's like one way, um, there's one way to like mitigate this, which is really cool. He actually does it in this scene. When he pulls his gun out here, he doesn't have time to like appropriately get it in front of him. Um, like in a, is it, this is the Weaver stance, right? It's either Weaver or Isosceles. I, Weaver might be the one from the side, I don't remember. But since he doesn't have the opportunity to get it out in front of him properly, at the very least, he centers it with his chest so that he knows the round is at least going straight. Even if it's not going perfectly up or down, at least it's not going left or right. He knows it's going straight. He gets it right in front of his chest before he fires, which is cool, which is... And then for him, he brings it out in front of him as he's supposed to. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, 
In a lot of movies, they would have just pulled it out and fired from the hip. But it's very irritating. Like, if you were to, if you were to angle your hand even slightly to the left or right from down here, that shot is going to go way the fuck off into nowhere if you were to try to do that. Fuck Collateral is such a good-ass movie. Tom Cruise needs to pay more, play more villains. Do you think it was intended by accident? Oh, no, that, that thing never happens by accident. That was, of course, intended. Yeah. Buckshot is bad for home defense due to over-penetration. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, I don't. I don't know anything about AR-15 penetration. Though. I really don't, because I've never read anything about it. So, just wanted to tell you a deep dark secret. Okay, what's your deep dark secret? Um, you'll be surprised. I'm actually the one who made the distance sneezing combination. Oh my god! Sneezing combination yeah. guy. Wow. I don't wanted to say I'm sorry. That's okay. Wait, did you just go through logs and find out when anyone said bless you? Or I was just watching your stream. You just time. watched it all. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay. you know, I was young. What do you expect I was supposed to do? Not now. Now you're an older, mature. Yeah, guys. I got university work, you know. Have fun. Yeah, have oh, fun. Be careful. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, See you later. Do you think we're randomly running into these people? Do you think they're biking and finding us? No idea. And then they have the memes prepared. Excuse me. What? Oh, my God. For the red light? Wow. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. And I've been watching you for so many years. Oh, okay. Look at all the fucking bikes, guys. Oh my god. Do you just go? And... Uh, yeah, a little, uh, like two miles. Right? Oh, okay. Viewer. So many. Can you miles here? <laughs> no, he's trying to make it easier. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Kilometers are just so they don't want to have a picture with me. I have four kilometers. Can you take a picture of me? Melina. Oh my god, you know who I am too! Of yeah, course. you're Destiny's girlfriend. Oh. Take a picture. <laughs> It's called the U.S. flag, you stupid fuck. This is the only flag that the United States federally has and recognizes. Why the fuck are you acting like the, a different 